like at work, I, I have to kind of tiptoe around the fact that I'm not gay because when I tell people, like, especially that have rank, they like ask me questions about my husband and stuff. And, you know, I have to, I definitely told a, quite a few people that I'm bisexual, but like, do I really have to do that? Cause nowhere does it say that I can't get married for a particular you reason. Have, like you don't have to be gay to get married to a man. You, I mean, you did it. You're not gay and you're married to a man. Scotty, it says here that you have been actively committing marriage fraud for money and you've been doing it for a year now and you are not worried in the slightest that you'll get caught. What exactly is marriage fraud? <laughs> so, Gek, um, in my job, if you're married, you get paid uh, significantly more money. Really? You get, uh, yeah, more than double. So me and uh, one of my buddies from, oh, I've known him for a very, very long time, since like kindergarten, so over a decade, decided to just get married. And now I make a bunch of money and I buy him things sometimes and it all works out good for the both of us. Now, when you say you decided to get married, what is the the fraud element of this? Are you and your buddy legally married? We are. Yeah. Well, Scotty, I, I have news for you. If you and your buddy are legally married, there is no fraud being taken place. I guess that's true, but it could still get me in trouble. Why would that get you in trouble? Well, if they, uh, they found out at work, that uh, that I just married to get paid, then um, I could definitely get in some trouble. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me because, okay, what's the whole point of... Well, first of all, what, what job do you work where they pay you double for getting married? I, I haven't heard of that before. I know that there's like tax benefits or whatever, but I haven't, I've never heard of a job well, paying you extra for that. It's not necessarily double. So I'm in the military, and they give you an allowance for housing to oh, house okay. your spouse. And then they yeah, give you yeah. some other, like, allowance and stuff if you are married. Okay, well, so let's think about the core purpose of this program that they have, or whatever it is, where they give uh, you money to give to the person that you're married to. You said up front that you'd buy nice things for your husband. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so, I mean, that's what that's what the money's for. The money's for you to buy nice things for your spouse, whom you're legally married to. I, I, I don't, you know, I what I, I want to get to the, to the point, what well, the point I'm trying to get to is, I, wh where are you committing fraud here? You married this guy, and now you're entitled to the benefits uh, that your job is is offering uh, uh, to married people. You know that's that's an argument that I've heard some people make too. Because like at work, I I have to kind of tiptoe around the fact that I'm not gay because when I tell people, like especially that have rank, they like ask me questions about my husband and stuff. And, you know, I have to, I definitely told a, quite a few people that I'm bisexual, but like, do I really have to do that? Cause nowhere does it say that I can't get married for a particular you reason. Like you don't have to be gay to get married to a man. You, I mean, you did it. You're not gay and you're yeah, married to a man. It feels nice too. I love him also. I love my husband a lot. I, I, again, you love him. Again, not, not, uh, also not a prerequisite for getting married, but Scotty, why do you feel as though you're committing fraud here? Maybe because it's like, well, I think, I don't actually think it's fraud. I, I think that's kind of just like a, a joke that I like to make about it. But in some sense, I guess maybe just, uh, from what people at work have told me, they kind of like 
shame you for doing that. Well, not some people. Some people think it's hilarious and a great idea, but other people think it's a terrible thing. Mm. Mm. Do you they think, think you're ripping thing? off the army, stealing from the government. What did you say? Do, do you feel like it's a terrible thing and that you're ripping off the government? Um, no, I think it's a great thing. I work my ass off, and you know that, that is what it is. I take my job seriously. And what does your husband do? What does he sort of think about all this? How did he react when you first pitched him the idea? Uh, we thought I was joking. Um, and then I kind of like told him the details of it and um, told him like the benefits. You know, he gets like health care and stuff. And then he was on board pretty much right away. Mm-hmm. So my final question I think we both do. No, go ahead. Oh, I was kind of going to like steer the conversation in a little bit different direction. I think both of us kind of think that the idea of marriage is not like stupid, but we don't, either one of us really even agree with traditional marriage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you. Um... I think it's a. So you uh, are adverse to the idea of getting married for the purposes of tradition at some point in your life. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like, like if you love somebody and that's who you want to spend the rest of your life with, why do you have to sign a paper that like binds you to that? You know, just do that. Just spend the rest of your life with them. Love them. If you want to have kids, do that. Well, so my final question is, okay, you've been married to, you you say you've been married to your husband for about a year. How long do you anticipate this marriage will last? Do you guys see a divorce sometime in the future or will you be married forever? Uh, probably just when I get out of the military, we'll just file for divorce and then that'll be that. Do you think that it will upset your husband when you eventually divorce him? Do you think he enjoys being married to you and would be devastated by the idea of a divorce? (laughs) No, I don't think so. Beautiful. Thank you very much for calling, Scotty. All right. Bye, Lyle. You know, honestly, the way that he put all of that, like he just made it sound really easy. Which makes sense. I mean, theoretically, you should be able to marry a stranger pretty fast. I mean, there's no there's no um, downside to it, I guess. He just made it sound so easy.